Hello, my name is uh, Rainer Horsgotte. I'm a research fellow at Fraunhofer IPT. And in the next uh, minutes, I present you my paper, Generation and Evaluation of Automation Concepts of Additive Process Chains with Laser Powder Bit Fusion. Yeah, to explain uh, shortly, what is Laser Powder Bit Fusion? It's an additive manufacturing process which is focused on the manufacturing of uh, metal components and therefore um, yeah, the component is built uh, layer-wise out of a powder bed and um, uh, layer by layer the powder is um, melted uh, by, by a laser and uh, so the component um, is built. Yeah, and um, due to this um, layer-wise um, build-up uh, there is some post-processing needed. This is because um, the LPBF manufactured components have some dimensionally um, uh, inaccuracy and have usually a high um, surface roughness and um, furthermore they have some induced uh, residual stresses. So post-processing is uh, needed and usually this uh, post-processing is uh, very manual. So uh, it's uh, done by hand, it's done with uh, different machining processes for instance, but they're usually uh, not very um, automated and so yeah, the um, productivity uh, among the whole process chain is very low and um, has a high proportion of uh, manual executed uh, processes and uh, the result is that the production costs are usually very high for such uh, additive manufacturing component. And I think uh, one other important aspect is that um, the health protection of the employee is uh, very important and uh, due to um, the remaining powder which is at the component, there's uh, yeah, some uh, health risks which have to be considered and uh, yeah, no, uh, I think uh, or, um, the automation of uh, the process chain is a good option to optimize uh, these, um, these uh, potentials. And uh, first of all, I would like to uh, give a short overview of the uh, process chain. So it starts with the additive manufacturing process, the LPVF process. Uh, the component is built at a subs on a substrate plate and then a depowdering takes place. So the remaining pow uh, powder of the, the component is uh, removed, then the stress, uh, heat treatment, the stress relief annealing takes place, and uh, after this process step, uh, the separation of the base plate. So the component and the substrate plate are separated, and uh, then the component uh, process steps can uh, take place. For instance, the uh, sub art structure removal, um, the machining, um, of uh, yeah, different uh, geometry features and of course the surface finish of, uh, of the uh, surface. And um, my paper had the goal to introduce a methodology for generating alternative automation concepts uh, for, for this uh, process chain and uh, the concepts uh, were generated and of course um, uh, different manufacturing equipment at the one side uh, is being considered, but at the other side uh, also peripheral systems um, are also uh, being considered. And so, um, yeah, both categories, so the manufacturing equipment and the peripheral systems um, will be um, evaluated and of course uh, used for in the generation phase. And um, the methodology I developed in the paper and uh, first of all it starts with an analysis stage. Uh, so um, what is the process chain, what are the products which have to be manufactured and uh, what about the performance uh, regarding the auto level of automation of, um, of my um, existing um, equipment, my manufacturing equipment and of course my peripheral systems. Then the second stage, the generation stage and there um, the different automation concepts um, are generated and of course um, of course uh, regarding both perspectives so regarding the the non value adding um, um, operation at the one hand so um, so handling operations for instance but of course um, the uh, many the value added process will be uh, considered um, mainly and uh, based on this um, the different um, automation concepts are generated uh, for the third stage and this is a detailing stage. So then um, um, different uh, lead times um, have to be estimated and considered uh, the capacities of, uh, of this automation concepts um, 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 have to be highlighted 
and of course the unit production costs and has to be calculated in order to to have um, yeah a good uh, information basis for for the last stage the select selection stage and therefore um, um, the analytic hierarchy process is a good option um, in order to uh, identify the most suitable automation concept and in the next uh, slides, I would like to uh, give a short overview of the different um, stages. And uh, the basis of this analysis stage is um, an evaluation uh, method. And you can see the uh, method over here. Um, there are two different categories um, which have to be taken into account uh, um, during um, the evaluation. And on the one hand, we have the uh, mechanization. So there an evaluation takes place uh, where the machine or the manufacturing equipment at the one hand or the um, the peripheral systems um, are evalu evaluated regarding the uh, level of mechanization so uh, is uh, the process step executed by a flexible hand tool for instance it's a static machine a flexible machine and uh, yeah this is uh, the question regarding the mechanization but on the other hand uh, for the automation the cognitive uh, support is also um, important and therefore uh, interesting um, questions in uh, this uh, category are for instance uh, are there sensors integrated um, are there um, um, rules uh, in order to uh, interpret um, and analyze um, the sensor the data sensors yeah and uh, these are the question and uh, yeah so for every process step in the process chain for instance the LPBF process the YIDM process the milling process in order to to machine the uh, geometry elements and um, for every uh, process step and for uh, regarding um, and of course then the manufacturing equipment has to be evaluated regarding these um, two categories but also the peripheral system so what about clamping what about uh, the loading and unloading of the machine or what about uh, the transfer unit for instance uh, about the handling system all these uh, peripheral systems have to be um, evaluated in the both categories and every um, evaluation um, has uh, a maximum level of seven and so it's possible to combine and to compare different um, yeah, manufacturing um, equipments, but also powerful systems. You can see it over here, uh, for instance, for the milling process. And uh, for instance, if there are three different types of machines and um, every machine um, uh, is evaluated by this method and every machine has a different level of automation regarding the mechanization, but also for the cognitive support. And so um, every machine has a different um, level of automation and uh, these different level of automations are considered in the second stage, the generation sta uh, stage. And um, um, so it's possible to, to, um, to build a, yeah, a, a manufacturing process chain with a different manufacturing um, system. The different um, handling operations can be um, can be considered. So, for instance, uh, uh, which kind of straw uh, is needed, which kind of uh, clamping system is needed, and of course, which kind of uh, transfer unit is uh, needed. And so, the handling operations for every uh, manufacturing system can be planned. Then the next step is to um, to use um, the evaluation of the uh, peripheral systems from from stage one um, for for the second stage. So um, based on the manufacturing uh, process chain with the with the diff with the specific uh, with the specific um, uh, manufacturing equipment, the peripheral systems based on on the evaluated level of automation can be um, combined to the machines and um, it's the same method so um, every peripheral system has an, for instance for for loading has um, has a evaluated level of automation regarding mechanization and regarding uh, the uh, cognitive support and so um, yeah it's possible to um, to generate a whole manufacturing automation and, um, every automation concept um, um, can have uh, different uh, yeah, manufacturing equipment uh, but also uh, 
contains uh, different peripheral systems and um, by, uh, by considering the whole process chain it's possible to um, visualize um, the overall level of automation as you can see at um, this slide the basis uh, for, for the detailing stage, the third stage, and uh, there, of course, uh, the lead time is being uh, determined by, for, for the manual processes, by, by systems of uh, predetermined uh, times, for instance, MTM, and uh, for, for automated uh, process steps, um, simulations um, are used, for instance, um, simulation tools um, of, um, of already existing um, a software provider. And based on this, um, the production capacities um, for, for every process step, for every machine can be, um, can be uh, calculated and adjusted. And uh, this is the basis for, uh, for cost calculation. So then we are talking about inverse costs, about personal costs, and of course about energy costs. And uh, this is done for every, uh, for every um, automation concept. With this information, uh, the different um, um, criteria and cri different criteria, um, the analytical hierarchy process uh, can be conducted. So, a uh, selection of uh, different uh, process steps can be t uh, can take place. And um, yeah, this is a method uh, for for identifying um, the most suitable um, automation concept. For instance, a criteria. Uh, can be the invest cost, invest the investment cost. Uh, another criteria could be the lead time. Another criteria could be the flexibility of, of the automation concept and so on. And with the AHP uh, method, it's possible to um, consider different, rating, uh, different ratings uh, for the evaluation. And so the most suitable automation concept is being uh, this is uh, what we uh, done here at uh, Fraunhofer IPT in a, uh, in, a, um, in a research project and uh, there we um, use this uh, methodology and, um, and um, develop different automation concepts and um, yeah uh, we also developed um, um, a way of uh, visualization you can see here at this slide and uh, yeah this is um, the basis of um, the um, automation concept and the were automation concepts were generated and of course um, discussed with uh, with the um, manufacturers yeah what is uh, the, uh, in order to sum up my uh, my paper um, the methodology is um, able to um, to generate different um, automation concepts and therefore um, the basis is um, um, an evaluation of, uh, of the manufacturing equipment, but also of the peripheral systems, for instance, the handling um, um, devices. And uh, based on this, uh, different automation concepts are generated and uh, detailed out. And um, on this basis, um, the most suitable um, automation uh, system can be um, selected. And uh, yeah, this methodology uh, can be uh, used to support the planning of, of course, uh, new LPBF manufacturing lines. But of, on the other hand, uh, this methodology can be used to improve already existing um, uh, manufacturing lines in terms of um, automation. And um, I think um, another option I have to, to highlight is that this methodology can be uh, complemented by additional methods. So, um, for instance, a more detailed um, selection, for instance, for, for, for considering um, specific uh, performance indicators can be integrated in this methodology. So this methodology is, um, yeah, is the basis for the generating of um, different um, automation concepts. Yeah, thank you.